Okay, so today I need to take a bit of a... I need to change tracks. I've been kind of stuck in a... I haven't been uh, making videos and haven't been uploading because I just haven't really had much in the way of good ideas as to what to do. I just kind of stuck in a funk, I guess. So that's why the, the uploads have kind of been certainly less, a bit more sporadic. So I need to change tracks because a part of what's the, um, feeding into that is just the fact that the size, the complexity of what I have is growing to the point where I'm just not able to keep great track of everything that needs to be done or everything that I have done. Like I'm constantly trying to do something. I start something, then I double back, then I have to double, uh, double back through the code to find out like what, what I have done, what the intention behind what I did was and what it does. So one thing I want to try to do now is to get a bit more serious about documentation so that like, I don't have to keep going back through the code and that I can actually like, much like um, if I was to bring it up, one piece of documentation I really like is the Vulcan specification. Ba -ba -ba. This. This is, I really like, and the same thing for OpenXR since it's by the same people and using the same whatever. I really like this. Like it's very simple for me to kind of be able to search, very easy to search, very easy to go back and forth and see everything that's of uh, importance to me that I can that I want to know that I want to think of what I want to find out and I'd like to see if I can try to replicate something like this for you know this, something that's this easy to use basically and simple and straightforward so uh, the first things first I need to go on and check like what I already have have like I already have I have used previously in previous projects Doxygen document for documentation which is just where it would take um, uh, let's find something in here do, 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 do. something like it would take these comments that are in the code and put them into some well documentation basically some like HTML files and PDF files what have you and that would, that, the documentation layout and usability wasn't particularly fantastic, but it worked. It was something that was like, since you already had documentation in the code, it'd be very easy to switch back and forth between whatever. So, and I'm pretty sure I also have like in, I do have something, some like little project that helps get Doxygen on the way. <clears throat> so I need to include this and then I need the function, just the one function. Do I need anything else? Uh, defaults doc that, okay. Output directory is the binary slash doc, okay. So first of all, let's see what I actually already can do very easily for documentation. And then I'll go from there, see what if there's, I want to actually change up. So about that. Um, I probably need like a configuration file, like the, uh, this doxy file, yeah. Let's see if I can find an old doxy file from an old project. This would have been years ago. This looks old enough. And yeah, it has a doxy file. It's create that. The old miscellaneous library. Okay. With uh it's fairly old, okay. Um, okay. So what, make 
Doth already exist? No. Did it do anything? I created the directory. Didn't actually. Okay. Ta okay, so some old whatever. Uh, U config name. Okay, dash U dot C. One nine three, great. It's okay. That'll add it to more general whatever. Oh, you know what? There's probably like source directories and stuff I have to deal with. Source. Ah, here we go. <clears throat> Current source dir, and then I need to kind of do libs, I guess. Not a readable file or directory. Oh, come on. Oh, am I not doing string replacement? make configure file let's see what this is supposed to do at only so imagine what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to do replace hmm because right now that doesn't look like it's capturing everything. If I open this up in Yeah, there's just nothing here whatsoever. Wait, no, 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 it's not. Doxy file. What's a doxy file? Doxy file is current makes. No, yeah. CMake current source dir slash doxy file. If no path is given, it's that. Okay, what if I just specify it? Doxy file path is What are you doing? Is it just not doing anything? I don't Uh, is there anything saying it couldn't find it? No. Uh, 
Doxy file is this. Tell me. Which is that. Okay, that, that's correct. Then you go into here. If build docs process docs. Why is Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. Again, not reading the documentation fully before. Uh... Whoops. There we go. That's a lot more stuff. All right, let's F5 that. Okay. So yeah, Doxygen still looks a bit uh, not great after all these years. I mean, sure, it kind of pinpoints file, whoops. This isn't really searchable, is it? I mean, I guess there's search. There's classes, there's files. There's no real functions. Include fo. Okay. Thanks. I can't actually use half of the stuff. Okay, and these are just that. Okay. Uh, doxy file. Okay, I just can't find anything for air docs tab size aliases. Okay. Maybe this has much of an effect. If I say it's C. Still can't select files. I can go with data structures. I mean, I don't really need this stuff, do I? Hmm. I 
still not like I'm just not I just don't really I'm not I just don't feel it. I really like it's good. <clears throat> well, it's acceptable, but I'm sure I can probably do better. Hmm. Okay. That's uh, so that's a fallback. I have that as a fallback if I can't do anything better. But let's explore options. Let's see like if I can actually do something closer to what Vulcan does. And uh, the Kronos group basically. So let's make a dock director here. And I should actually already have it down here somewhere. Under tools. Vulcan docks, these guys. So I'm just going to copy and paste this right here, just to make it easier on myself. It's not, I didn't even copy anything uh, through it. Cool. CD doc, I'm going to CP-R. Vulcan Mini, Vulcan Mini Libs. Tools, open docs. You know what? Whatever. No, no. I don't want to sign in. I just want to clone the damn thing. What? Have I, have I completely forgotten how to clone stuff without having to? Um, right? I haven't. Right? A Kronos group. Oh, okay. It's thinking on. Um... Yeah, okay. Okay, let's close all that up. Let's see what we got here. So, inside Vulcan Docs, got a make file. Now, here's the uh, XML that I've worked with in other projects. This is pretty nice to have everything that you want in an XML that you can reformat. You can process any way you like. Much easier than uh, well, basically anything else I've tried to do. And pretty easy to add stuff. It requires just a bit more pros um, more upfront work. Um, bunch of source, bunch of Python scripts, Ruby. So this is probably the content. You know what? Where is the readme? Actually, let me just put it up on. Um, So, <clears throat> the sources for the formal documentation of Vulcan API. Uh, directory structure. Building the specification and reference pages and generating headers. So, okay, because they have all of their um, declarations in a header format, they can they use this to generate the headers as well, which is pretty neat. 
not having to manually handcraft headers all the time. And if I recall correctly, they don't actually have much in the way of, they don't actually put any of um, documentation on the header itself because it's all in like uh, the, the PDF and on the web and stuff. So if I was to, let's see, go libs here, include, through that, through that, like it's just this, which is basically just a whole bunch of auto-generated stuff from uh, the XML. And there's no document, basically no documentation, basically none. Okay, introduction. Uh, yep, yeah, building the spec. So they have a Docker, but what do they actually use? Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, fine. What's the Docker file? Uh huh. So this is probably the heart of it. What this ASCII Docker thing? Hmm. Okay, let me grab uh, ASCII Docker real quick. Okay. Um, so actually, for the moment, like I have ASCII Doctor, but I'm actually just going to use the Docker file, which I've also pulled down. So, oh man, there we go. So what's supposed to happen is, fucking here, you just run. What was it? Make something, make spec all. Okay, that's the reference pages. Well, this is just a make file, right? Here. Now, I don't think that there's not a make spec file anymore. No, there is. Okay. All, all, just make everything. So this is probably going to take a little while. But what it looks like, okay, so it creates a generation file. Um, this is formats. Uh, this is nothing, I don't think this is useful for me. Okay. These things I don't really know about. Okay, no, no, I kind of do know about this. This is basically saying like these things are, need to be externally, yeah, externally synchronized. Outside of the API. Um, API, what about interfaces? E name. So this is just saying what each extension adds, I guess. Yeah. Out. Now oh, this is the stuff coming, coming out, isn't it? I still don't, yeah. Okay, uh, and then what we got? API. Okay. Hmm. It's 
it's not really adding much. Handles, these things. Then these are the functions. Okay, okay. I think I see, so something I know. VK create command pool. Let's open up the this. If I go there, that is this. So command pools. And then that's the, the handle thing I saw. It's probably some more stuff down below. Return codes, valid usage, valid usage. So I guess like they are automatically generating this from the XML that they have. At least this, this so this and this, they're re automatically generating valid usage. Um, Valid, validity, protos, ek create command pool. Okay, and then here's the valid usage implicit. So that's the automatically generated stuff. And then the return codes. Yeah. So they generate this, and then they must put it into Great command pool. So rolling back to, was it chapters? Command buffers, command pools. So this is, okay, so this must be the chapter start then. Well, the chapter text itself. Command pools, command buffers are subject to records. No, not quite. Or is that up here? Ah, here, yeah, here and here. Okay, so if I, so this is, there's the initial recording. Okay. So they have a lot of content here. These must be links pending to, yeah, queue submission. So that's a link, ASCII doctor link. Invalid, that's a vector, that's an image, okay. Command pools are opaque objects, yes. So I'm not sure what this open ref page is about. But then we get down to, okay, represented by S name. VK command pool handle. So that's this. And then it's including that generated file for the handle. And then just below it to create a command pool call the included proto protocol, I guess. So that is from that other file and copy and paste it in here. Then they have the parameter information here. Um, they have the non-implicit valid usage here. And then they include the rest of the valid stuff. And then they move on to the next thing. Okay. Interesting. I'm kind of surprised that they wouldn't then include this information in the XML and just copy, oh no, because of this, isn't it? Hmm. And then it's just the same thing over and over again with eventually a note, which is this thing. Like a subheading. I 
it's still building. <laughs> oh, it's now generating HTML files. Let's go dark. Uh, sorry, dark Vulcan docs gen out. PDF is PDF generated 11.6 megabytes of PDF. So I imagine this is just, yeah. Okay. So that's cool. <clears throat> okay, so these are chapters. Where is the base? Code of conduct contributing appendices. So something okay in the make file. Let's say it's doing PDF. Cleaning directory. No, it's removing. Manage to man PDF. Hmm. Okay, so this will be a PK spec PDF ASCII doc B PDF doc PDF options <clears throat> and what's this? Give it to me. Where are okay options? It's a book. It's adding some Ruby files. So that makes the HTML, it makes it HTML diff. Dash B, okay, so. Let's make that not in quite. <clears throat> Make th this non quiet. Still going. So I'm going to come back when that's done so I can actually have a look at what it output. Okay, um, that's done. So let's have a look at what the output is for HTML. All right, it's very big, incredibly big. What is this one file that's 18.7 megabytes? That's, oops, very big. But it does appear to be, it's the same thing, command buffers. Buffer life cycle, command pool, blah, 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 blah. Okay. With all the same links and that going around. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Imagine this is, it could be chunked up somehow, perhaps. Uh, Kronos. For developers, um, there you are. Okay, here's the chunked HTML, which is it 
This is just fundamental stuff. Yeah, okay. So there must be some way to do a chunked HTML as well that I'm just not aware of. Go back, HTML, KTEX man, proposals, style guide, registry. KTEX, does that have anything? It has something. I don't know what this is. Man page. Can I go in here, open a terminal and go like man, uh, pk create, no, um, Okay, I don't really know how to use this, the man page thing, on a direct file. So I'm just going to kind of put that off to the side because I imagine this is it's probably pretty good. Considering these other ones. Okay, there's, oh, here's the chunk stuff. Don't overwrite that one, please. No, it, it did. Uh, the HTML has now been put into a whole bunch of individual file uh, per file. So if I go to index HTML. Yeah, now I've generated this, which is the same thing, but chunked up. And then I can Yeah, this is Okay, now with this kind of thing, I think I think it is definitely quite a bit better than Doxygen. And I'd like to see if I can actually try to make some kind of specification, design document, Bible thing in this style using similar tools or basically I'm going to almost copy their homework, which I believe is uh copyable because the copyright is Apache, Apache, CC by four, MIT. Oh, that's a font. That's for a license for the font. So yeah, no, no, this is all I can, uh, I'll, 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 of course, attribute, but I can basically, okay, I will. So let's see what I can get done in about an hour and a half and a two hours. Once I figure out that this must be the basic, like this is, must be the, 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 the base. Table of con Okay. So you have that initial title page with some settings. Stuff I'm not going to use. Table of contents, offset. Imagine just kind of offsets headers. Preamble, copyright, and okay, here's all the chapters. They just include, so that's what the, those chapter fi um, files are about. And then those chapter files include other things from the API and the validity, validity do, uh, directories. And it's just a whole bunch of that. 
I think I can actually do something with this. Okay. Let me, okay, let's close that up. And let's just say, you know, Say for a dog, um, this is what I'm going to be doing here. It's just my own. The title. Specification. I don't really have any title stuff going underneath. Not sure any of that is, but I do want a table of contents. What is this? Um, ASCII doctor. Let's just go to the end. It just kind of goes to the end. So what is this? Docs. Getting started with converting your first document. Okay. Test. Where's the alarm Ipsum? out of that back up um, and how do I actually use this oh that's what I was going to do I think the PDF is gone. You need to remake it and you need to tell me your commands for making it, please. There you are. Do, 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 do. Let's have a look. Every space is a new line. Ask you, doctor, PDF, book. Some stuff for okay. So this is inserting some information like the git branch commit information. Um, these dash a these must be like additional directories. No, additional definitions. R extra Ruby. Ask you doctors a Ruby thing. So okay. Include an uh, include directory, uh, more definitions, the output, and then the, the start uh, thing. So, uh, that does take a little while. So, uh, as the doctor. on that generates this which I would like to preview can I preview this I don't have something for previewing it okay Um, 
Yeah, okay. No table of content though. Uh, but it may just be PDF. Maybe it's just a PDF thing. What does book do? Dash D, sorry. Does that make any difference? Not on the HTML page. Does it does it, but dash D. Okay. There's that PDF. Maybe that's just what what does this do? Um must be some kind of wrapper, because the usage is just for the actual Lasky Doctor itself. Let's um No, um, let's see, one on the left, two on the right, uh, let, sorry, one on the right, two on the left. So that means that like this could be printed in a nice document, a double, you know, where you have on both pages, both sides of the page. Let's <clears throat> table of contents and VK spec. There are these table of contents to table of content level two. Let's ask you um, talk by default a table of contents is just automatic table of contents please one I got talk and talk to. Talk levels. So it goes down two levels, okay. Table of contents, hmm. So what's talk to? Is that just a newer version? A different? So doing that gives me a table of contents, at least. Brings me down to that, okay. And if I was to do this, the web page should change and now has a table of contents. So what's, let me check, what's the difference between one and two, like table of contents versus table, of, so that's the table of contents two. And then I go just regular table of contents. Seemingly no difference. What about for web page? Ah, ah, here's the difference, the web page Table of contents one, the table of contents is up here. Table of contents two. Uh, moves it from up here into the sidebar. Which I would actually more prefer. I think. Yeah. So it's always there when you're, because it's a more technical document, you want to uh, quickly go from place to place. Okay. Uh, numbered that I would presume means it's going to number things. So it's probably like test blah, it's just nothing. It's just the actual title of the chapter and then
it should, yeah, it just adds a one to the beginning. So I was to have that. Mm. Okay, so new chapters are on new pages. This is a sub chapter. It'll be underneath, and same thing here. And like it said, if I went, oh, one, two, three, four. Test, so. It won't be there, but it will be down there, okay. And if I was to update this to third level, it'll be part of that. Okay. So the level offset must be, like it just offsets these levels down by one to make it easier for typing everything else underneath. If I was to do this, then it's going to automatically be, hey, you know. Yeah, it's down uh, by a level. So it shouldn't be. Okay, good, 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 good. Two, three, four left things. Was this a checklist? Conditionals. I don't know what it is. Okay, preamble. This must be a link. Or is it? PDF. Oh, that's already a link. Unless this is a link for... Is it like an ASCII doctor? From themselves? Oh, I'm on the open VSX one. All right, BRB while I install uh, this plugin. Okay, so yeah, it has some stuff, that's cool. Not sure, still not sure what this is about. And okay, this is a text file, so it's not picking it up, but one, two, three, four. No idea. So this is what, what is this? I want, okay, links, links. Uh, this kind of weird, funky business words. What is this? Let's say, okay, what's, who's this, right? This, oh, okay, maybe it's because it's supposed to be like one, I do something like that. What's this? And then down here on this, I say, hey, that text links to that. So, facilis, okay, that'd be it right there. Becomes links back up to here. Okay, so that's how they're doing. That is like a hidden link some, or, of some sort. That's how they do all those cross links all over the place. Hmm. The, 
this. It's what this is just some kind of source code stuff, right? Mm, that's not high lit, is it? Fan pools. Yeah, see, this has got some some mm, syntax stuff. So it's got like a red coloration on that behind the highlight. Some bolded consts. P name, the P name thing, and then it's just including chapters. So let's say I'm including a chapter. We got that, we got that, and then we include test include a doc, and then It just carries on. So this is mo this is the primary reason as to why there was that um, offset going on. Okay, we've got that. Let's see if we can uh, uh, this. So let's do that. We got that. We already got. Uh, I can see what this is here. So it kind of hook into memory allocation, which would be a link to, let's say, here. I need the empty brackets. Yes. Check to two command buffers, blah, 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 blah. And memory allocation will take back there, yes. This must be something custom by Kronos then. The P name things. Yeah, okay. First of all, highlighting of this so I don't see anything in particular but this it be it no it's already in use so that's useful to know That doesn't do anything there though. Uh, da, 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 da. So this must be the source highlighter, right? You. Do I have by default? Let me uh, grab that. Okay, so Rouge is just an actual default Ruby package. So that's not Chrono specific. Okay. Not exactly the highlighting I was looking for, because I mean, it is highlighting the name and const. So there is that. Still not nothing on P name. Rouge style GitHub. Okay, maybe this is it. So that to 
Okay, so it's the so it's the GitHub style for that. So that's that. Still not sure on the p on the p name. Parameter name. So this is all still very much built in ASCII um, doctor functionality. Up to this point with the p name thing. What is the p name thing? P name. Um, if I search for that, I'm going to get millions of hits. Unless... Okay, let's close that up so I don't have to bring that up. API Python is just a generated list of everything, I guess. Looks like VK get fence. Yeah. Uh, this is basically the same thing. JSON stuff. I don't really want to go too crazy with having to bring in external stuff. Test style. Uh, it just looks like some more. Um, it's probably more like an explanation of how their thing works. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. ASCII specification structure, including text layout and markup style. Um, but this isn't what I'm looking for. This is just like explanations of how. Okay. Let me just close that. I don't want it to keep opening. Config. Spec macros. No, here we go. Uh, so we got this, and then we got this in spec macros extension, config spec macros extension, which is included or required by this. So this is registering extensions to the ASCII doctor, and this is a set of classes, some kind of extension mechanism. There's that API Ruby file, which had all those individual definitions of ev almost everything. Uh, almost kind of linked to a bunch of things. Not sure why. Um, but
okay, where was it? P name inline macro. Where so that's the name of the markup, I guess. And then this is what it would do. It would I guess it looks like it just changes it to a particular file. Um color. But it's eighty five ninety four. Looks like a teal. Eight five nine four. No. Okay, I'm just going to presume that this is the kind of reddish color. Yeah, the reddish color that they use to match the GitHub. Um, syntax highlighter for rouge the rouge style the rouge github style let's see if I can uh... this is Apache 2 okay thank goodness for that so going to bring in some bits that's why it's like also under my copyright afterwards I'm modifying it by ripping a bunch of things out so that p name that which takes in this which then goes in takes in that It's dash A, dash R, dash R, dash R. Cannot load such file. Um, Am I not in this directory? Are you okay? There we go. Let's see what we got. Nothing happened. That's disappointing. Oh, wait a second. I did not actually register. macro yeah there we go s link okay p name was parameter name s link must be this is a structure so structure link Okay, so this is what they're going on in here. So they have structure names, structure links, structure text. Enum, okay, enum, structure, parameter, D, T, um, I don't know which ones these would be used. Tag? No. F. Function. So they have a bunch of macros, and I guess I'll add them as I need them, I guess. Yeah, I can keep it under Apache too, I don't really care. So at this point, yes, I would. I need some content. P 
PDF, the H. Actually, what's the HTML look like? So right now it should still be this. So if I was to redo this, it's numbered, it's command stuff, it's got that. It's is that how they do it? Um It's a little different. Hmm. Actually, I may prefer this because it has a little bit of a background uh, thing. Although, yeah, yeah, not too bothered by that. Okay. I think that's, uh, I'm, uh, so at this point, it kind of comes down to how do I want to put the content in? Do I want to actually manually specify these things? Or do I want to go down like the route they did where they kind of have the large XML and then they generate these individually. They also generate their, like their main headers through that XML. So you only have to modify the XML, but you also get like, you get updated documentation, you get updated. Um, I mean, are they, are they supposed to change? Are they going to change? They're probably going to change. Vulcans doesn't change, but mine probably will. Hmm. Okay, so let me see what I can do about XML. What is it? Because I, of course, have, uh, I can look at what they do. But I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so let's see what this is uh, done here. Command, proto, success codes, error codes. All right, so this must be recreated via this. The result, um, return codes must obviously be born out of these two. Not sure what the true, the optional true thing is about. VK allocation callbacks. If is not null, this is implicit. So this is somehow generated. If p allocator is not null, p allocator must be a valid pointer to a valid VK allocations callbacks. Uh, I don't really know. I don't know what the optional is talking about. Is it like down here? No. Unless it just means it can be null, so it's saying like if it's not null, then it must be a valid pointer to whatever. I don't know. It's kind of bothering me. Okay, what else? Let me just relook what I got. I have this. See, I'm also kind of tempted to after this be able to like do that and then have as well as like you know text 
for the night. All right. You know what? Okay, let me just start off with the basics. I want to be able to recreate this dynamically. Because then this would also be used in creating headers as well. That would make sense. I mean, would it? To my mind, it would. I mean... Going down to, let's say, for simulation, include simulation HVP. So, like, what would happen is this kind of stuff would be, of course, moved over into the documentation, into this. These, this would basically become just the declarations themselves. Um, and this stuff would also kind of go over here, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, this, I don't know what this does anymore. It may, must have done something previously. Or, no, no, because it's, yeah. Hmm. Not entirely sure on. <sighs> you know what? How's about for the moment? No, I won't try to like kind of do anything fancy like that. That's probably, that's a little bit too far out of the league right now. What I would still want to do is I want to still move over like this kind of stuff over to documentation. Make this like a like almost like a design document. Like what is it? What is the general idea of things? Rather than having like the API specifications here as well. For the moment, until I can think of, because I'm, I'm, I'm really on the fence still about that. I really am. But, is there anything else? I mean, right now it generates HTML pages, which is great. Right, ask you back to a book, blah, blah, blah. So once I actually start filling it out with some of how this is supposed to work, then I can make a better decision on whether, on which way to go, how more detailed I may want to go with the API. I mean, I like this. Like this, but not now. Not now. Okay, so I. What? Otherwise, I am actually pretty happy using ASCII doc. Maybe with some of this, I'm not. I'm not really on board with using this stuff yet. So I'll kind of get rid of that. Don't need that. We're not going to use macros because we're not going to actually have this stuff here but everything else i mean yeah the, the basic documentation would work that way as it is right now and i'll be happy to do so with that so we both of these all i got to do now is i got to fill it out with a bunch of con with some content so but I, i'll do that offline because that was like <laughs> watching me type out documentation not going to be interesting so all of that done I mean I didn't really get much done realistically uh, no I didn't but whatever I have done that's it for now a nice short episode like how I'm taking documentation more seriously and the basics of how it all works it all seems to work anyways so until next time cheers